Hello everyone, in today's video I want to show you how to set up AI Mesh 2.0 on your Asus routers. AI Mesh lets you group two or more Asus routers into one entity so that devices can roam between the routers depending on the location and depending on the Wi-Fi signal. So this way you can place the router strategically in your house and you'll have a better Wi-Fi coverage overall. What you need to achieve this is Asus routers that are compatible with AI Mesh. So Asus has on its website a list of compatible routers. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. In my video, I'll be using as a main router the RTAX 58U, which is the RTAX 3000. And as an AI Mesh node, I'll be using the RTAC 68U, which is the AC 1900. So now let's jump in and start the configuration. I'm going to switch to another camera so that you can see the routers side by side. So this is my main router here, the RTAX58U or RTAX3000. And this is my child router. So this is the node router. I'm going to configure it as an AI mesh node. While configuring the AI mesh system, you need to put the two routers next to each other like I put them here. The first thing to do is to make sure that both routers are updated to the latest firmware. So I'm going to show you for the main router how to check this. You have to go to the router's administration page, which is router.asus.com. And here, log in to the router. And then you see the firmware here. Click on it. And click on check here next to check update. So now we're sure that the main router has the latest firmware update. For the other router, which will be the child router, you can check the link in the description on how to update the firmware on a new Asus router. I've done the previous video on this, so you can check it like this. So once the two routers are next to each other, you need to reset the child router. On the child router, you have a reset button. So it differs, of course, depending on the models of the routers. For this AC68U, the reset button is here. I'm going to press it. And then we need to wait for approximately 10 seconds for the lighting to start flashing here, the LED lights. So now it started flashing, as you notice. And we need to wait for the router to be resetted. So now the router resetted. And you see, like, the LED lights are lighting solid here. And by the way, I didn't tell you that you don't need to connect the router to any cable. It will work wirelessly for AI Mesh. So let's switch now to screen recording and show you how to perform the AI Mesh configuration. You need to make the configuration on the administration page of the main router. And here I've already logged in to check the firmware. So I'm going to stay in the administration page of my main router. And here on the left, I'm going to click on AI Mesh. And I'm going to click on Add AI Mesh Node. And it's going to search for nearby routers. And it discovered the AC68U. Just click on it. And then click on Connect. And wait for the configuration to be uploaded to the AC68U. It might take a couple of minutes. And here the configuration is finished. Now, if you have another AI Mesh node that you want to add, you can click on search and add it as we added the AC68U. But in my case here, we have finished. So I'm going to click on finished. And you notice here that the AI Mesh node is connected. It's still orange now because the connection is not completely established. So we're going to wait for it until it is established and it will be green. So almost five minutes later, the connection was established. So let me show you a little bit about some configurations here. And then I'm going to talk about the placement because the placement of the AI Mesh node is very important. What is good about AI Mesh is that all the features that are available on the main router will be available on the node router. So even if the node router doesn't support some advanced features of the main router, they will be available even if the client roams between the routers. And this is a very important thing. So it's very important always to put the router that has the most advanced configurations and settings as the main router, and then the lesser router, put it as a node router. Now, to manage the network here, if you click on the main router and you go to the right, you're going to see that who are the clients on the main router. 
And if you click on optimization here, Asus has an algorithm to optimize the AI mesh. And this is especially useful if you have many nodes. In our situation here, I have only one node, so I don't need this. So I'm going to click on cancel here because we don't need to optimize it because we have only one node. If you want to add another node, you can click on add AI mesh node here. Let's click on system settings. Under system settings, you have many options. Let me walk you through the options very quickly. The first one is if you connect the two routers physically with an Ethernet cable, you need to enable Ethernet backhaul mode. So this way, the Ethernet connection will always be prioritized. But frankly, this defies the benefits of an AI mesh node. So the AI mesh, in my opinion, should be wireless. The second option is roaming block list. And here, if you click on it, you need to enable it. And then you can add by MAC address the devices that are on your home network that you don't want them to roam between the AI mesh nodes. So this way, they'll be connected always to the main router. And the third option is to reset everything. We don't want to do this now. And if you want to reboot the system, if you click on topology, we'll go back to here. So if you click here on the AI mesh node, you have some options to manage on the right. So the first one to see here is the connection quality. And this is the backhaul connection. So we're talking here about this connection here. So this connection, you always want it to be great so that you get the full benefit of the AI mesh network. So this is what I was talking about, about the placement of the node router. So let's say you have a three-story house. You place the main router on the first level and the AI mesh node, the best placement for it will be on the second level of your house. So this way you'll have a full coverage. And if you have an apartment, it's better to place the AI mesh node like in the middle of your apartment. So this way it will retain the great connection to the main router and it will provide full coverage to your apartment. So if you click on clients here, you see that I have one client that is already connected. And if you click on management, you see that you have the backhaul connection. We talked about it earlier. So here, I advise you to keep it on auto. You can force it to be a Wi-Fi always or Ethernet, but keep it on auto. And you can turn off the LED lights. And this here, if you have many nodes on your network, you can click on this and you can choose which node will connect to other node because a child node can has also child nodes for itself. So let me explain it just a little bit. So here I don't have many routers to show you, unfortunately, but if you have another node, it can connect directly to the main router or you can force it to connect to the child node here. So it will be here and connected to the child node. And this is what this is all about. And here, if you want to enable radio or no, so you can disable the frequencies if you want. I advise you to keep them as they are. And with this option here, you can manage the USB application of your AI mesh node router. So here you can log in to the AI mesh node. As you see, this is the AC68U using the same credentials that are on the main router. And here, as you see, you can manage the USB application. And if you click on switch control here, you can enable jumbo frames. I'm going to keep it at disable. And here I showed you optimization before. So this is the same option here. If you want to reboot the node, you can reboot it here. And if you want to delete the node, simply you can delete it here and repurpose the router. So that was it about how to set up an AI mesh network using Asus routers on your home Wi-Fi network. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below and I will be glad to answer them. I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel greatly and this way you'll not miss any future videos I make. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.